it certifies the election results. So if, they have their the, own processes if, in place. If the elections are certified underneath the standards that they put forth, every state has the what right to set mean? their own. Well, because the every state sets their own state election laws, right? But federal government sets irregularities as to which how far those can go. So is it is it going to be less than 1%? Is it less than a half percent? Whatever those irregularities are, we'll take that case at a time. I will say this, Pam. At this point, it doesn't matter if the Republicans win or the Democrats win. Both parties are probably going to cry, cry foul. you got to remember in, 20, in 2016 when President Trump won, the Democrats were saying that the election was that, stolen. But that's and then, in any move fa- But no, it's not. We well, it's the still the same thing. If, if the people are going stolen, to claim that the election the is stolen, it doesn't make any difference. You're telling me in 2015, Pam, that Democrats didn't say that the election was rigged? They did. They absolutely there, did. That is an in absolute 20, false equivalence, in, and I just will not accept it's not, it on this it's show. It's not equivalence. I, I did they say not. it or did they not? Because I can, I can, you had the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who wasn't the Speaker then, openly said that the election was not fair. She said it, okay. the democracy is at place. You had Maxine Waters stand up there and said, we got to fight against this corrupt system that stole the election from us. There Those were a, Democrats that said listen, that. Listen, what happened in 2020 was you had a sitting president in office who lost the election, who said it was rigged, it was stolen, and members of Congress uh, voting against the certification that the states had already certified and taken it to the Supreme Court, trying to overturn well, the will of millions of voters. Well, if you want to talk about how many people had voted not to certify, let's saw. talk about the Democrats that didn't vote to, cer- didn't, didn't yeah. vote to certify the election when Bush won, it's one we can thing go way back in history. We can talk about members who and didn't another vote to organize, to And then you saw January 6th. No, so what I hear what from you, from the question do, I asked you, is you are not willing to accept the results of this next election, even if every state certifies I unless you that. do. And, I said, I'm okay. going to look at it. You're I'll take it by it. case. Absolutely. I'll look at it. I have okay. no issues with looking at it. I'm going to look at this, but I'm going to sit here and tell you what I'm going to do and not going to do until I see the results. And it doesn't. Ba- it's not based on who wins it. It's based on the results of the irregularities. I'm there to make sure that the, the, the election is held and is held within our constitutional boundaries. I will uphold the Constitution. I swore to do that. It doesn't make any difference who wins it. Obviously, I'd love President Trump to win, but if the election is fair and it's handled in the right way, and I got to vote to certify it, I'll vote to certify it at but that I point. I think the problem is the election was free and fair in 2020. And yet, was it during when Bush members won? Members of Congress well, well, when voted Bush to, won to and be, and, and when Bush won and had this hanging chad, was it fair at that time? Because I, there was Democrats that voted not to certify the election back then. Okay, we've talked about the difference, but Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, I really appreciate you Thank coming you. on and making your case here.